right, welcome back to your balanced diet of teletainment. Yes, very nice clip I will give you from the Miss Nigeria 2018. Come 25th of November, we go find out who go actually wear the crown. And trust us to always give them to you on top of Wazubia TV and Wazubia Max. Now, time for us to discuss something really very important for Isabel Budo Nigeria, malnutrition. A lot of children, they die because they don't know they consume the right amount of food and even nutrients. There is a particular NGO now where don't decide, say, come, we need to feed people, we need to feed the children. And that's now why they would sell to us more updates concerning this particular uh, movement or rather initiative where they just actually put on ground. And we get a very beautiful young girl in the house, Chine Mary Daniel. Good to have you. Thank you. Tell us more about this foundation. Uh, charity of Food um, is, is like a movement. Basically, we're doing other things. We have food education and stuff like that. Festivals coming on next year. But um, what we want to do is to try and help in our own little way to curb malnutrition in Nigeria. The amount of kids um, that have malnutrition meant right now is on, on the rise. It's alarming, really. Yeah, especially kids um, lo lower than five years five old. Five years. Mm -hmm. It's really bad, basically. And the thing is, nobody, I mean, people tend to ignore these things, but they are very, very, very essential. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're trying to just do our own little bit because truth is, one person can't do it. So when two or three people come together, we can achieve more. I completely agree with you, Chinimere. It's not like silent crisis that we actually face for inside Wobodo, Nigeria, but we need more attention to be paid to us how many Nigerian kids they actually die from malnutrition. Yeah. Because like you talk, if you see the statistics every year, it is too sad. Now tell us, I want to know more about um, this organization. When Una starts, and how many people Una do actually reach out to to provide food for them? Okay, so um, my, um, Charity of Food is one of the projects of Hush Magazine. So basically, it's just something we came up with. We started this year, and we've been trying to put things together from the beginning of the year. Our target is December. Is this your first project? This is our first project. Oh, outing. okay, nice. So basically, um, the idea isn't just to give out food. It's to give out good food. Mm. Um, next week, Saturday, we're going to slums and we're giving out fruits and proteinous food because we just realized that a lot of parents don't even know what to give their kids. So um, we just want to do something different. So it's not just about going out and getting people off the streets, but we want to give them something good, something they would normally not get by themselves. So if I go to slum most times to visit an orphanage, people would normally go with noodles, tissue, mm -hmm. rice. Mm -hmm. But these kids need stuff like beans. They need apples. They need cucumber. They need fruits. So we, want to do ju we just want to do something different to get. So I mean. I really like that. That's amazing. But that's just one day because we know, say, stunted malnutrition, they actually start from when the baby did for inside belly. If the mama know they give them better food and better nutrients, baby will come outside looking very stunted. Mm -hmm. Now, you get any, um, um, let's say, um, sensitization, um, talk on that they actually give to parents, especially mothers? Yeah. So this, um, um, part of, in part of our campaign, we're doing social media sensitization. We try as much as possible to lecture, go for one or two gatherings whenever people are having programs at orphanages and stuff, just to enlighten people and talk to mothers. We're also working with Lagos State Ministry of Health. So we're just trying, you know, we're reaching people gradually, mm -hmm. basically. It's not one day's job, but this is not just going to be the only one we're doing. It's, mm -hmm. it's something we're going to be doing probably by annually and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, you talk, say, Una, they actually go slum in this December to give them good food. Now, not just the rice so we they always give them or with the chicken on top. Now, they give them good food plus fruits and every other thing so to make their body day very, very cajant. Yeah. How will I take the sponsor on herself? You want to see money from? Is it from personal pockets or when I get people where they support you? Government, like you thought the government, they support you. They don't give out some money? No, no, not yet. But okay, basically, right now we have um, partners, okay. sponsors, angels, people who want to give, but they don't want to be, named, to be known. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. basically. And then we have an opportunity for individuals to also feed, basically, to feed a child. You pay as low as 1500 So it's just your pain, your, your pain to give a child a healthy meal, not just anything. So you can actually feed a child. So most times when we have our, like the December program we're having, um, most of the people who are going to be coming on, whether for exhibition or for 
publicity are going to be sponsoring kids with whatever they're giving to us. So if you had to pay five, um, 50,000 Naira for a stand at the festival ground, basically your 50,000 should be able to feed at least maybe say the amount mm -hmm. of kids that that will amount to basically. So that's how we've been raising money, but mostly for now our funds have been like from our pocket. Pressing our pocket. Now, if you just join us, we we'll actually then speak with Chinemere and Daniel. And she did talk about a, um, a new initiative in Ghana, a movement called Charity with Food. Now, their mission is to actually feed underprivileged children in at least three slums for inside Wobodo, Lagos State. And also, they go hold events where you go actually get about 40 charity homes for inside Lagos and beyond, um, for, inside one, for inside John C. Jack Kondetinubu Park for December 29th, 2018. Now, they go actually feed these children for three different slums for Lagos with better food. We get better nutrients. We go they make their body day very, very cajard. And I said December, now this one go happen. We will come back to talk more about that. But let's talk about you. Now, I see how much passion you they put into a, a charity event like this. How does passion see actually come about? Uh, I think, <laughs> I think, um, my my passion is just about empathy mm. because it starts i mean just just like kids on on my streets every day nobody has as much access as i have to good food like i do so basically when you just see them around and you see the way they go about their things and everything a lot of people are actually hungry like let's just forget the fact that they're going to yamoria down the road to buy rice like some kids eat that yamoria's rice every single day and you see them with 59 and they'll go there and be like one rice, 30, spaghetti, 20. And then you're like, <laughs> it's the same thing you're eating over and over, over, and, over and over again. Because by the time their parents calculate how much money they're using, buying kerosene, buying ingredients, buying this, buying that, it just pays them to share 50, 50 naira among the kids and you know. And then so many of these um, people don't have adequate information to know that, oh yeah, maybe, maybe we should cut down on this. I think the problem just starts with, um, government um, um, sensitization on the amount of um, kids you should even give birth to. So many people mm. do not know. Um, a lot of people do not have any form of recreation apart from, you know, the whole ligi dali, <laughs> you understand? Know, so right? basically kids keep coming and some of them don't. Our and population keeps increasing. You get, you understand? So and and poverty rates keep increasing and in poverty Nigeria. Rates, you get mm -hmm. and then, you know, People don't want to die, so I mean, it's it's just it's just messed up. So someone just needs to do something. So um, whether or not I'm part of this campaign, I would I would just always want to go out of my way to try and help someone out. Basically, mm. because I come from a family where um, my mom takes people like she empathizes a lot. You know, she can't do everything, but she tries. So everybody should just try. Mm. Whether you're part of something or you're not. I like one particular word where you use. You say your passion actually come out of empathy. That putting yourself in another person's shoes. Now, just from your own perspective, how much empathy if you actually go to heal the world or make the world a better place? I think it's, it's, it's just an individual thing. Basically, if one person empathizes, another person does. We come together and make everywhere better. Um, there is no one good person because at some point we as human beings would always be selfish. But sometimes we just need to let our humanity play out. Mm. Yeah. I totally like this. So tell us more about this event. Um, when you go actually Shele, which different slums now they go? Let's just know. So that people they watch us now go not say yes, for this slum they will be there, oh, let me go and eat good food. <laughs> yeah. So um, we're going to different slums. Okay. Um, so we don't want to actually target several places because we know that a lot of people go to these different places. So we want to try and reach other parts of Lagos that normally, when you look at the distance, you'll be like, ah, I can't go there. Let's just go to this place. You get what I'm trying to say. So in as much as we'll go to the ones around Yaba, we would want to also reach into other places, Egbeda, you know, places that haven't actually been getting so much attention. And basically, we also want to invite as many, at, uh, at, um, about 40 different okay. charity mm -hmm. homes. Basically, we want to bring them close, want to give them opportunity to get stuff out of what we're doing. And we want to get celebrities in, we want to get artists in, whoever is interested in sharing love this Christmas. So basically, and um, 
um, we have like a couple of brands that we're trying to bring along. Aside um, little little startup food companies that that are supporting us one way or the other, we're just trying to do everything to make this like work out. You know. Mm. So these 40 charity homes now, the children for inside those orphanage homes, they will actually benefit from yes. the food. Yes, so um, we're inviting them and we're going to give them opportunity to also show their skills. You know, we want the kids to be able to come and do little competition, probably cooking competitions, make sandwiches, do little stuff, you understand, so that they have fun. It's not just about coming and eating food and, and leaving. Also have opportunity to also connect with themselves, basically. I know that there are Nigerians who are like philanthropists on their own. They'll also have opportunity to see that different charity homes, not all charity homes are just homes for kids who, are, who don't have parents or who are dumped on the streets. Some charity homes are for kids who are probably challenged one way or the other. People don't know these things, you understand? So we just want to bring them all out, let them have fun this Christmas, and then bless them. All right. Now, I know that you're a volunteer for Inside This Particular Initiative. Tell us more about the, found, the founder. Because we know say initiative like this, it actually come out of someone's experience in most cases. Let's just know more about the founder. Um, the founder was um, Adeoba. Was or oh, is? He's, <laughs> he's, he's Adeoba Abiodun. He's my friend. Okay. Um, we, we were classmates until he kind of switched careers and stuff. But we've been, he's what course is that? Civil engineering. Okay. Yeah, so but he's, he's a very good person. He's a um, very passionate person, and he's serious-minded. Mm -hmm. So when he came to me and told me that, oh, Chichi, we need to do this, I just, and you know, you know you, you know you know how to talk to people, you know how to, you know, like, okay, yeah, I think I, you know, I, 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 lo I love this, I want to do this. And basically, me and my friends, we do this thing where every year, we go to an orphanage to give them food. So when he brought up the idea, I was like, oh yeah, this is something I want to be part of. So it was already part of you? Yeah. Like giving to the society was already part of yeah, you? Yeah, so very, very, very nice one. Yeah. Very nice initiative where they get on gun charity with food and their mission not to make sure that they feed on the privileged children, at least for inside three slums for Weobodo, Lagos State. Now, apart from that, they will bring 40 charity homes together and make sure that they benefit from this particular initiative. Very nice one. Thank you so much, Chinemere. Very nice to have you in the house. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.